it's uh, Wednesday, uh, April 15th. I started to say August. Everything's mixed up because of this coronavirus thing. Uh, I think normally this would be the day when taxes are due. I don't think many people are concerned about it because I believe we got an extension. Um, I've already gotten a refund. I have uh, something on my mind this morning, and that is the painting that I've been working on. And I think I need to do a little bit more with this painting. I'm thinking that it won't take much. One of the problems is that this area here is very close. Here's center, right about, right about here. And this is almost, and this again becomes somewhat formulaic. I'm not going to let that bother me here because I know in the back of my mind, although I paint freely and without thinking too much at the time, in the back of my mind is this subset or matrix of rules and design uh, suggestions, let's say, that uh, make for good painting. So what I'm going to do is uh, paint a little bit more of this piece, uh, probably, uh, again, this bothers me, uh, it's a little too... Uh, straight. I'd like to break that area up some. And what I'd also like to do, I'd like to take this piece over a little bit past the uh, halfway point. Over here, I may want to brighten this up a little bit, uh, add a little bit of line work, but I would really like to wrap this piece up today. So let's get started. And I think first thing I want to do is to add the mass over here a little bit. This is a new paint. I think it's probably a tint, light orange uh, from Golden. And I haven't used it before, but uh, it looks really nice. I'm gonna mix it with some yellow ochre. And I realize now that what I really need to do is come over with the, from the left to right with the blue. That's going to be the better way to make this more solidified. Airbrush medium is frozen to the table. I'm going to add a little bit of this teal. This is actually cobalt teal. To the cobalt blue that I put down. Here's the part I said I want to come past this just a little bit. I'm going to repeat this a little bit over here. I mentioned that I might want to lighten that up a bit and I also want to uh, cut into that black there, and that's where I should have used that light uh, tint of yellow ochre and light orange. So I'm going to try that now and see if this works. And I'll step back and take a look. Yeah, I like that better. And there's one other thing I would like to do to carry on a little bit, and that is to draw some, probably with some black, not the, uh, not the fast flow or the high flow, but just the black heavy body paint by Golden. Back again. And 
breaking this black line up. It's a little bolder than I had anticipated. Down here as well. Once again, already my canvas, which I thought I had tightened up, is giving me some problems here. I don't mind that uh, black that got uh, transposed from the uh, paper towel or shop towel to, to the painting. Uh, that's fine. I'll clean this brush off, let it settle in the water a little bit, get another clean paper towel. And reinforce some of that area that is going to be the highlight and try to draw more attention to the area that uh, is down here, which is one of the focal points that I want. I've also got a new color or another color that I haven't tried yet. And it is called Titanate Yellow. Also golden color. All of these, for the most part, are golden colors. And I don't say this to uh, just to advertise the colors but, or the brand, but I say it because I've mentioned that at the end I'll put a list of uh, supplies and tools that I've used. And there's no reason I can't do that while, while I'm painting. Over here where I'm dipping into the gallon jug of titanium white, there's a spot here, for instance, that I want to lighten up. I had done it before, but I couldn't get past the uh, underpainting, which was still wet, so I'm just reinforcing that a bit. I'm going to do the same down here. And up here, I'm going to want to lighten this with the white as well. And a little more airbrush medium. I'm working toward finishing this piece and I full well know that again, after a few days, I may come back and decide that it's not ready yet. This is normal for me. It uh, probably is for most artists. And I would get used to it and not be disappointed by the fact that after a few days, the piece doesn't seem as nice as you had uh, thought earlier. I'm really liking it now. I think I want to put uh, a highlight of some really high key blue. I'll try this. Uh, I'll try the teal, maybe mixed with a. Uh, let's see what I can do. I'm not sure. And I'll try to say this right. I uh, muffed it before. It's anthraquinone blue, not what I said in an earlier video. I'm going to mix these two. The teal and this one to see if I can lighten it up enough to make it stand out over here. That's a little bit, it's going to dry darker, I know that. Okay, I'm going to stop right here. I think I've got it where I want it. Again, we'll see. I want to just uh, let it rest, uh, let me rest for a while and think about it. I'll come back in an hour or two maybe, maybe work on another video. Uh, 
Until then, please uh, like my video if you've gotten something out of this and also subscribe so you'll get notifications of new ones. Thanks. Here's a picture of the finished piece, finished as of now. We'll see in a few weeks. I think I'll keep looking at it. I'm happy with it now. And um, as I've said earlier, more than once, sometimes it just takes keeping the piece, watching it, letting it rest, staying away from it a while and becoming more objective. So we'll see what happens.